Hi everybody, this is Mike with the National Weather Service office in Amarillo, Texas, wanting to give you a little update on what we're expecting with the winter weather Thursday night into Friday morning. So the event we believe will start as early as late Thursday afternoon with the peak of the event really being in the evening hours on Thursday. Uh, that is when we expect the heaviest precipitation and snowfall to occur. Uh, and then after midnight becoming more light and maybe a little more scattered as we go through the overnight hours. The greatest impacts from this event are expected to be across the Northwest Panhandles. There's still some uncertainty remaining with the timing of the sub-zero temperatures at the surface and how that might affect the precipitation types. This is expected to be a relatively short duration event, especially with the, the heavier snowfall potential being in the evening. Uh, and then should be winding down in the overnight, overnight hours and especially into Friday morning. So this is just one model depiction of what the radar might look like at 6 p.m. Thursday. And mostly wanted to show this because some of that area in the northwest panhandles, that is expected to be snow. So there is a pretty substantial band. I don't, we don't want you to be surprised uh, when this event kicks off that it goes pretty quickly into some pretty heavy snowfall, at least as far as how much is falling to the ground how well all of that is sticking early on is really the big question mark and how far and how quickly the, the rain snow line extends to the south also being a question mark there but there's going to be a pretty good burst when this gets going in the early part of the evening we believe so focusing on the northwest panhandles has the best chance of seeing snow accumulations and a brief period of possibly even some heavy snowfall uh, especially from dahar to gaiman and northwest uh, but again, you see mainly focusing on the evening hours and then becoming light as we go through the overnight hours. Uh, it's also the area that's most likely to see the precipitation type become predominantly snow, snow and stay that way. But we cannot, still can't completely rule out that there's some wintry mix of other uh, winter type precipitation, a sleet or uh, that type of thing occurring. On Friday, we expect the temperatures to rise up to around 40 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky. Uh, so again, it's not expected to stay real cold real long and really we'll see temperatures rebound on Saturday as well. So the temperatures, again, could be a limiting factor to how efficiently we accumulate. So it's gonna be another one of those types of events for us. Focusing on that, that pink zone, the central zone, uh, this area has more potential of having a mix of rain or rain snow mix, possibly seeing sleet, possibly seeing some freezing drizzle uh, as well. Very dependent on these temperatures, how well they fall, how quickly they fall. Uh, there's a lot of question mark in this zone. Uh, less potential impact, we believe, than that northern zone, but can't rule out some slick roads and especially bridges and overpasses. Uh, but this is something that has to be watched. It's not totally out of the question that a lot of the precipitation falls while it's above freezing. And as we get below freezing, we see less precipitation. And so a bulk of what we get is, is a cold rain. So a lot could happen within this, this transition zone for sure and need to stay uh, in tune with that. Focusing on this southeast panhandles, uh, most of the event in this corner of the area is going to main rainfall. And then toward the very end Friday morning, we may see a switch over to some kind of wintry mix or light snow uh, as the precipitation is winding down. Uh, but again, probably the least impact we would think would be in this corner, potentially little to no impact uh, in the southeast corner unless it gets colder a little faster. So that'll be what to watch on that. But predominantly rain, maybe a switch over to a wintry mix toward the end of the event. Closer look at snowfall totals. Uh, the bigger picture on the left there showing what our current forecast is, one to two, maybe one to three in that northwest corner. Uh, areas from Guyman to Dalhart Northwest having the best potential. Uh, not that it's not going to snow south of there, especially south of Dalhart. We'll have to watch that heavy band down there, how quickly the temperature falls. But it's, again, that limiting factor is uh, how quickly it drops below freezing where it can start accumulating. Uh, again, just want to reiterate that band early on could be pretty heavy. So we may be seeing some pretty good heavy snowfall. It's just how much is it accumulating and how fast does that move across the area? The area highlighted in that northwest corner, you know, there is some indications if everything came out perfect that we could see three to five inches of snow 
up in that area. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, even the high end uh, potential based on the different models that, that go into that are not showing that, but there are a few outliers. So don't want to completely roll out seeing a heavier amount above three inches, but most likely the worst case scenario is more, more in the two to three inch range, but we'll keep tabs on that. And you can see the low end, there's a potential that only the Northwest corner sees snow and a lot of the area further south doesn't see accumulating snow. So that's within the realm of possibility as well. As far as looking at how much impact this may cause, mainly looking at a minor event here, if everything works out perfectly and we get heavier amounts in the Northwest, that could push them into a moderate category as far as snowfall goes. Uh, again, limited potential as far as sleet or ice impacts, we believe with that mainly would be an issue on elevated surfaces. That flash freeze component is mostly in the Northwest and it's referring to the fact that the temperature may fall kind of quickly and so some wet roads could then ice up, especially bridges and overpasses. But again, that's kind of on the minor side of the impacts for that. The limiting factors again is that temperature forecast, how quickly we fall, which is gonna influence the precipitation type. So a lot of question marks about that uh, precipitation type, especially rain snow line and where that might be. And there's some uncertainty in the evolution of the storm system itself, how strong, how far south and those types of things. And is overall, you can see we're not overly confident in this and it's really revolving around those factors. So this kind of just reiterates, you know, the thought on this snowfall starting in the Northwest and West as early as late in the afternoon, Thursday, heaviest precipitation gonna occur early on in this and then continuing but tapering off on the rates we think in the overnight hours. Again, the greatest potential for impacts from snow will be across those Northwest panhandles. There's still a lot of uncertainty in precipitation type and the timing of when we fall below freezing and where the rain snow line and those types of things are. And again, a relatively short duration event, pretty hard, quick hard hit Thursday evening, tapering off from there. So we're gonna update uh, this tomorrow morning on Thursday, let you know what our latest thinking is on that. Uh, for now, everybody stay safe and appreciate your time.